Now our next press conference will be for MHR Racing, McAnally Higgleman Racing. They are gonna showcase their brand new Craftsman Truck Series trucks and drivers and sponsors. So that's what we're looking forward to. Hopefully it'll warm up a little bit. Again, uh, Dane and Tony. Um, Bill, we'll start with you. Uh, Ted, it's been around for a long, long time, over three decades. You have some really strong partners over that period of time. you got some pretty exciting news to share on the partnership side for 2023. We do. First of all, I'd like to thank Dean and GM Chevrolet for letting us have this uh, press conference here. What an amazing building. 140,000 square feet of it. But uh, very impressive, and we're happy to be here today. Um, and I'm very excited and honored to share that we've uh, renewed with NAP Auto Parts for a multi-year contract. We've been with NAPA now for 32 years. They started uh, sponsoring me when I raced late models back in 1990. And fortunately, we won a NASCAR Winston Racing Series Championship our first year together. And like Josh said, we went on to win 11 regional championships together. And uh, I'm proud to represent NAPA. There's the auto care centers and the auto parts store, <laughs> 6,500 NAPA auto parts store, 17,000 auto care centers in the nation and they are great people that appreciate NASCAR racing and we sure they enjoy all sorts of motorsports. It's right in their wheelhouse and we enjoy representing them and uh, being there building activation and helping them drive sales by utilizing our race team. Very proud to extend that relationship. I mean, it's gonna be a, a 35, 36 year relationship we have with NAP. It's when I started with Napa when they first sponsored me, it was it was filters and oil back in 1990, and then the tool guys started giving me tools, and eventually built up. In 1999, it went to headquarters from being a regional sponsorship to a national sponsorship. But some we're very proud of, and glad to have the extension, and very proud to represent them in the NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series. And James, you look towards 2023 with the. Chevrolet Truck Teams, how do you guys see the 2023 landscape and how important is it to have race teams like, like Bill's that have grown over such a long period of time with strong partnerships like this? You know, we're, uh, <clears throat> we're excited about our lineup for this year. Um, and it really comes down to, you know, the partnerships that we have with team owners like Bill. Uh, I've known Bill for, uh, I guess, probably more than 20 years. Uh, we've kind of bumped into each other at the racetrack for different reasons. Uh, through the years and then watched Bill come on on the scene in the truck series in 2018 uh, in, at Phoenix in his first truck race um, then we um, kind of kind of observed Bill and his operation over the over a couple of years with a different brand and brought Bill on board with the Chevrolet brand last last season or in the 2022 season and um, it, it really it's it's obvious to see Bill's dedication to the sport and his dedication to really uh, bringing on the right people, the right drivers, and the right things to be successful at this. So uh, really looking forward to this season as we go forward. 2023, uh, driving number 35, Adaptive One Chevrolet Silverado RST from Monroe, Georgia, Jake Garcia. And then also driving the number 19, Nat Auto Care, Chevrolet Silverado RST in Middletown, New York, Christian Eggis. So Jake, I'll start with you. Uh, 17 years old, you went off a seventh place run in the snowball. Uh, you got your feet wet in truck series competition last year. What's the road been with your career path to this point? Uh, how big of a deal is it for you personally to have this sort of opportunity? Yeah, this is definitely a huge opportunity for me to, to be able to come here with, with Bill and be able to compete next year in the trucks. Um, you know, we got some good experience last year, and I really hope it carries over and we can use what we learned last year to, um, to make this next year, um, you know, a re really good year and have some success. And Kristen, you've had uh, a couple full-time seasons, a couple playoff appearances. Uh, you've got a win under your belt. What do you uh, what do you anticipate for 2023, and what are the what are the things that you're most excited about joining MHR? Yeah, I'm really excited. Um, you know, overall, just working 
with Chevrolet, which obviously is a new partnership for me, um, and Napa Racing, which Bill has had a relationship with for 30 plus years. Um, yeah, I'm just, I'm really looking forward to it. I think it's gonna be a great opportunity. Uh, there's a lot of, a lot of good people over there at uh, McNeil Lookman Racing, and um, I'm just ready to get to work. You know, like you said, I've had some, some playoff runs in the past, but uh, they really haven't gone the way we want. But um, at the same time, I feel like this organization is capable of winning uh, races and championships. So uh, that's our plan. That's the goal that me and Bill and the whole team has kind of set out to achieve, and uh, we're not gonna stop till we get there. And Bill, you've had a lot of drivers Experience levels over the years. What do you uh, what do you see when you see Jake and uh, Christian wind up at Daytona? Well, it's it's great to have Christian here with his experience, uh, running two full time seasons and making the championship chase both of those years, and a, a driver that knows how to win at this level. It'll be great for Jake to have somebody that's a veteran and knows their way around how to make a chase, how to stay out of trouble. And, and be there at the end to get those wins, get those top fives that add up to get you there. And Jake's an incredible young talent. You see from the snowball just last week, he knows how to get it done in a race car. We're proud to have Jake and looking forward to developing him and moving him up forward in the NASCAR ladder. With that, we'll open up. So I'd like to use some of that to help me grow and, and uh, get better at this stuff and hopefully find some success. Well, I was going to say something about regionally. I mean, you're from New York, and I'm not exactly sure where you're from, Jake, but um, where's, the, uh, where's the headquarters for you guys? Jake's still in, in high school, so his headquarters is at home in Georgia, <laughs> going, going to high school and uh, keeping those straight A's going, right? You've yeah. got to fix that one B, yeah. your mom was saying. <laughs> so uh, that's his priority. But Kristen lives in Statesville, very close to the shop. We're up there. We're, we've got an alliance program with GMS, which is a, a huge helping hand to us as a team. And we're right there in Statesville, right in one of their buildings. And Kristen lives right down the road. And speaking of high school, are you taking any classes to maybe finish up a little earlier? Uh, and then, you know, heading this way? Uh, or do you want to experience the whole high school thing? You're going to do prom? You're going to do, you know, of course you're going to do graduation. but. Well, I'd like to get the most out of it as I, I can. I'm, I'm trying to take some, some classes that might challenge me this year, you know, and, and to be able to, to maybe use some of what I'm learning to, to you know, help me understand what's going on, you know, math and science and even English, talking to you guys today, it all ties in somewhere. So really trying to, to get as much out of it as I can and at the same time um, being the best I can be at the racetrack. And is college on the horizon or... Uh, I haven't decided yet. I guess we'll see how good I am at this. <laughs> He's going to the U University of MHR. <laughs> there you go. Uh, for Christian and Bill, I mean, I assume this deal came up. It's just come about the last few weeks. So I guess, you know, when you realized the colors you weren't going to be back at Thor's board, did you have a panic? And, you know, and how soon after maybe that were you able to get hold of Bill and put this together? Yeah, you know, it was, it, was, it was weird. It was good timing. It wasn't weird, but it was uh, coincidental timing that he texted me on like a Thursday, and I figured out on Monday um, that I wasn't going back to Thor Sports. So, um, just myself, that is. But yeah, no, I mean, like it all pretty much happened within the past week or so. Um, and yeah, just, just really happy that uh, I found this situation. And like I said, I couldn't be happier to be with Chevrolet, Napa, um, and everybody involved. You know, we were looking, look, looking at opportunities for drivers that could help move our team to the next level, that have won races and been there and made the chase and competed. And Christian's name was on top of that list. And I reached out. I didn't know anything about what was going on at Thorough Sport at that time. Honestly, I just sent him a text, asked him if he was happy, you know, what he was up to. And little did I know, we signed the papers this morning. Hmm. Good deal. Questions from everybody? Uh, Jake, just like, what are your expectations for your performance and getting used to the team next year? Um, obviously, I'll be doing the best I can, but, um, you know, we, we had really fast trucks uh, last year. Um, 
little bit of bad luck, but um, but we, we had some fast trucks and, and ran ran up inside the, the top 10 at Gateway. So um, I think we'll have some more of that. Obviously, as I get better, we can move closer and closer to, to be in contention for wins. But um, just really excited to work with, with everybody at MHR and um, Adaptive One and Chevrolet and really, really excited for what this year might hold. Nothing flying from Bill, but how much longer are you going to do this? <laughs> you got to all the trophies, I'm sure. Flying from the, the West Coast this yesterday, I was asking myself the same <laughs> question. No, uh, it's an honor to be racing the Craftsman Truck Series. We raced the Winston West and the K&N for years, and I loved it. It was in our backyard. Um, now with ARCA, I wanted to stay in the NASCAR platform and the NASCAR footprint. We still participate in ARCA, and it's great to have that on the West Coast. But we went, like I said, in 2018 and found out we could be competitive at this. And I, I tell you, it, uh, it was a misillusion because we ran out there and ran top 10 our first time. We've been, been working our tails off trying to have a top 10 program since then. It's uh, if we finished 11th this year overall. So we're, uh, I think somebody was trying to humble me a little bit. But uh, I, I love what I do. I'm honored to, to be part of this and have the support we do from Napa Auto Parts and from Chevrolet and all our partners. And uh, I just, I'll ride the horse as long as I can, man. <laughs> it's, it's, it's fun. I love what I do. We have the first look of the number 19 Napa Auto Parts truck. Sorry. Goes. He is making it official. Christian Eckes, number 19. Congratulations. Thank you. Put this down there. Do an picture of it. There you go. Come over to the number 35, Adaptive One. Jake Garcia. That's a pretty looking ride right there. Seventeen years old. Finished seventh at the Snowball Derby this past weekend. There he goes. NASCAR my whole life, finally get the opportunity to do so. Um, I'm really excited to, to make the most of it with, with Bill and, and everyone at MHR and be able to, to give this truck some success and, and make it make it contend for a championship this year. So they said Christian signed the papers this morning. Did you also sign the papers this morning or how long has this been uh, in the works? I signed, I signed my papers uh, probably a few weeks ago. Okay. So not, not quite as soon as, as Christian, but um, you know, still, still really, really cool and this right. is coming out. Me pretty quick, so. so just kind of how you got here. Um, yeah, I just uh, I was always into racing when I was a little kid. My dad went out and got me a quarter midget when I was five. Um, did that for a while, and then 
Um, when I was 11 or 12, I moved up to full-size midgets and then uh, ran my first late model race uh, in, uh, in uh, 2018 when I was 13. And I've uh, been working, worked with Willie Allen for a little bit and been working with Ricky Turner uh, for a while. Um, he's been really, really crucial to, um, to you know, help me out. Changes in store for maybe crew chiefs this year? We're working on those details right now. We have Mark Hillman still as our general manager. He worked as a crew chief with Colby last year. And then we've got Charles DeKnight that's a, a great crew chief that we brought over from GMS and he does a good job with us. So we're working on all the details. Like I said, I just signed with Christian this morning. We've been working on this hard the last week to get it all done, but uh, that's our next step, and we're working on it today. To, to come, because I mean, yeah. I know Thor Sport wanted you. Yeah. It's just under the circumstances, it wasn't going to work. Yeah. Um, but, you know, to, to be in this position and to kind of get a fresh start and, and make your name someplace and establish your own path, I yeah. mean, how important is it? Yeah, I mean, I'm very gracious. You know, the fact that I had options this year um, is something that I haven't had in years past when I've been in this position. So, um, very thankful for Bill. You know, like you said, I, she just sent me a text, and I, I, honestly, I didn't even respond until like two days later. Um, I didn't see it, so I'm glad that I responded when I did, and, and not a little bit later. But you know, just to have options and you know to, to feel wanted uh, as a race car driver and, and what I can offer is it means a lot. And I got to deliver now. What you were hanging out behind the red carpet in Nashville, and it was like people don't even know who the hell you are. Nobody got my <laughs> reference the other day, too. <laughs> I literally put a blank deal with blue next to it. Nobody got Napa blue. I posted a picture of a wine bottle yesterday and literally underlined the Napa. Nobody got it either. We just saw you were getting hammered. We knew. No, it wasn't even my bottle. We knew. We thought you were just having a great time. Yeah. <laughs> Staying warm. Um,